try to make my laptop case. So I got my pot holders here. I got my nice soft placemats. Uh, trying to decide which side I like better. I think I like this side better. And besides, they match my pot holders. They're not perfect, but they're, you know, they're good for me. Okay. I'm probably going to need scissors. These are my faves for cutting. Uh, these are my favorite snippers. They're Singer. Um, you can order these online at Amazon. I would link them, but I'm not sure I know how to do that stuff just yet. But if I figure it out, then I'll, I'll link them. But anyways, those are awesome. Um, and I need a pair of scissors to snip that plastic. Maybe I can pull it off. Yeah, I can pull it. Yay, I can pull it. Okay. Pioneer woman. Oh, they didn't pull. Will I be a monkey's aunt? Because I can't be the uncle. Okay. Oh, I don't want to rip it. Let me just get a darn pair of scissors somewhere. Because I do not snip stuff with my good snippers. Sorry, y'all. I'll try to edit that out. Where that? Right there. Okay, so people say, do you have scissors that are just for sewing? Uh, yes. Does mechanics have tools? Yes. Got my tags off, okay? Y'all, I'm not even sure if this is going to work. I'm thinking that it will work, but I'm not sure. Uh, I have the idea in my brain. But not sure I'll get it on this thing right. Okay, first thing we have to do is get rid of this. And it is sewn on there, so I don't really care if I snip it because it's not going to affect anything. This side isn't, anyway. But this side, you've gonna, you're going to have to pull it down and... Uh, Probably going to hot glue that with fabric glue. Okay, so I've done my other pot holder and I'm going to take um, Surebonder has fabric glue. They say it sticks really, 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 really well. I don't know, I've never used it, but it's the first time. But I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to cut that a little shorter. I don't need all that. Y'all, these things cut through. Look at that. If you're a sewer, you need them. Just saying. Okay, I'm going to cut these shorter just because I don't need all that overlap hanging hanging down in there, you know. I mean, I do need to glue something, but not, not so bad. But anyways, I'm just going to put fabric glue on there. And like I said, I've never used this. I don't even know what I'm doing, y'all. And if I pause... When I'm talking, if I'm doing something, y'all forgive me. That's just because my little brain can't do two things at one time. So talking and working is not working. Okay, so I got that on. It seems to be stuck down really good. So anyway, I'm going to do the other one. That's funny they both pull down that way, but whatever. So I'm going to do the same on this one. These are just my pockets. I don't even know if they'll hold anything. I got them. I wanted the pockets for the ouch. I wanted the pockets for the uh, cord and stuff like that. So it's not, you know, rubbing on my laptop or anything. But I don't know if it'll work. If it's big enough. So I don't know. We'll see. That doesn't matter. Okay, I could glue these on. But I'm... Uh, I'm going to be toting this thing around, so I really want it to be, you know, sturdy, whatever. Um, I want to close my pockets, 
So I might get a strip of Velcro and just put right there. Okay, so I got my Velcro. And to make this easier, uh, I am going to glue it just to take to the machine so I don't have to pin it. Because Velcro is a pain in the hiney. Okay, so I'm going to measure where I need my Velcro here. Uh, I believe I want it right here. I'm just eyeballing this because it's just my laptop case. If this was for someone else, you know, I would I would probably, not saying I would, but I would probably measure it. And I'm just going to pop this down where, you know, I know where my thing goes. Okay, so I've got two pieces of Velcro. And I'm going to take my pot holder and I want this to be right on the edge. I will sew this, but for stabilization, to take it to the machine, I'm just going to put some fabric glue along the back, like that right there. I'm going to try not to burn my fingers while I put that right on the edge. Right there. That looks great. Okay, so when I flip that over, I know that's going to be in the middle. So I'm going to do the same for this piece of Velcro. Y'all, this may be my new love is this fabric glue. I'm not sure, but it is nice. Ouch, it's hot though. Yeah, watch that. Okay, now when I take it to the machine, I'm going to stitch across here and across here and then across here and across here. So, even though that's stuck pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to take my pins out. I do not need those anymore. I'm just going over here to stitch this. Hold on. Okay, so I'm at my machine. This is my Singer Heritage. I love it. But that's not important. Just wanted you to know. Okay, so I'm going to put my Velcro under here. And the way I normally sew it is on this edge. I've got my needle all the way this way. And I see where my holes are. So I'm just going to stitch. Back stitch. And then go. And I'm just using white thread because... I don't care. Um, I'm going to turn. I'm going to reinforce this bottom. I guess if y'all put enough fabric glue on there, it may have just held it. I don't know. But seeing as how this is my laptop, and that's a lot of money, I am not even going to wonder if it would work. Because I'm not about that right there. All right, and then I just take it to the side and cut my threads. And I also have another pink pair. I'm telling y'all, I love these things. And this is what it looks like on this side. So my Velcro's on there. Oh. Uh, now I'm going to do it to the placemat, and I'm going to do the same thing. Stitch, reverse, so reverse, have a problem, reverse. Sorry, y'all. Machines do not like the stitch on Velcro. You have to go right on the edge. Now I'm going to turn it. This thing's so big and stiff. Good Lord. Alrighty. That is on. Don't forget to snip all your little threads. In the front and the back, y'all. 
All right, she's on. Okay, got all of our Velcro on. Now, we just, I'm gonna stick it down. And that'll be stuck there. So, make sure my Velcro's even. That's how I, you know. All right, I'm good there. All right, y'all, I use glass head pins. I made my pin cushion, can you tell? It's supposed to be a spool of thread. I made it out of uh, ribbon stuff. But anyway, I use glass head pins. Normally, I just go over the pins. But this is kind of thick, y'all. So I'll probably pop my pins. I didn't even go. I'll probably pop my pins out, but I'm just pinning around. And I guess it don't really matter. I would have used the fabric glue, but I don't want to gum up my sewing machine needle and like I said I'd rather have this sewn down than glued um, just because of durability and things like that but anyway and that fabric glue stinks like it smells really funny I don't know maybe just me I can't handle smells very well but anyways I'm gonna pin my pot holders down and then I'm going to start sewing from here, actually from one side or the other, and I'm going to go all the way down and around and back around and leave the top open. So we're only sewing around the edges, leave the top open. I'm going to do that on both placemats. Look y'all. I got pockets. Uh, 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 uh. Ain't that cute? You can see the stitching on the back. I think I'm like my daughter. She said she liked the blue better. Now I'm thinking I like the blue better, but it's a little too late, ain't it? Oh well. Okay, now my zipper. All I had was this long black one. The rest of mine were all like seven inches. That wasn't going to do nothing. So anyway, I have to use black. Sometimes you just gotta use what you got, man. Okay, so the zipper should be, y'all bear with me, cause I do things weird. Okay, the zipper has to be on this side. So, we're gonna take our zipper. Y'all, I wish I knew if that fabric, fab, fabric, fat, <laughs> fabric glue worked. Y'all just don't know the days that I've had, but anyway. I don't want that that way because I can't see. Okay, I'm going to line the zipper up along this edge first. Okay? And then I'm going to sew it down. I think I'm going to set it in. This can hang off some. No, it can't because i got to sew it down. I'm going to um, set it in with this fabric glue just because I really, really like it. I think I can sew over it. I think I need a new stick. You know what? I don't know if I can sew over it. I'm just going to tack it right there. So, I'm going to use my pins. I changed my mind just because I don't want to break a needle. So, I'm going to pin this along here. Y'all, I never get my, ouch, I never get my zippers perfect. My pins are super sharp because this thing, I make them and they have uh, steel wool in them and they keep your stuff very sharp. Your pins will be like brand new every time you use them. And I think I said something about glass head pins earlier and got distracted. I apologize. I'm very easily distracted. I use glass head pins if I didn't say it. I don't know what I said and what I didn't say at this point. But I use them because my machine will usually glide over them um, with no problem because glass heads are thinner uh, pins. So you're able to get away with that in most cases. Um unless your fabric is too thick y'all don't see me but I can't get this pin up in here I got it it is dragging my zipper down in there okay so now 
I'm going to take and sew along this edge right here against this zipper to put this zipper in. And I have a good clearance, you know. So I could probably follow that line right there. It'll just have a big gap, but it'll be all right. So probably follow that stitch all the way down and sew this. I'm done. I hit one of my pins. See, it's just, I bent it. It's no good now. So I'll put it in the side so I know I have a thing to throw them in later. But anyway, got that side in. Okay, and it went over the glue. So, and I did not use the stitch line that was already there. I made a different stitch line higher so that that would be, you know, not as much room. Okay, now we got to do the same thing to the other side. And I had to unzip my zipper to get the foot. So you'll have to stop, move your zipper down, take pins out if you use pins or what have you, and then move that down. Um, now I got to do it again on this side. Oh, I almost did that wrong. You almost did that wrong. I can't afford to do this wrong. I got to leave tomorrow and I have to have this okay so I'm gonna line these up that's the middle and I know that's the middle so I'm gonna take my fabric glue when I get a new glue stick okay I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm gonna take this and I know it goes right here it's even with this one it's even with that one so it's not even at the top so anyways I'm just gonna Put some fabric glue right here and I'm gonna push I do know with fabric glue you have to push to bond the fabrics together with the glue so I'm just gonna put that right there and that will hold that right there that's awesome I think I'm gonna love this stuff y'all seriously all right look be the glue Y'all, I'm barely squeezing this because I'm afraid I'm going to just blob glue everywhere. But that's another reason that I love these precision glue gone. And then I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to go on this end and push it down. All right, now I'm going to take it to the machine. I got to put that closer. That's bugging me. Let me hold that for a minute. That glue stinks. I might have said that too. Y'all don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just here. Because I'm used to having music. And they told me to stop with the music because it's distracting. So I stopped with the music. Okay, let me go sew this in. Got it. Make sure you clip all your strings, y'all. Y'all, I'm so excited. This is coming out. And I can say I did it. I am super excited. Okay, so now I got my zipper in. Y'all, I got my zipper in. Yay! Okay, flip it inside out. And I'm going to match up these ends. And I'm going to pin them. It looks like it's facing a storm. So I'm going to pin these down. I could glue them, but I ain't going to because when I flip it back inside out, I don't want glue showing. Yep, it's raining. Y'all might hear that rain because... It gets loud in here. Just saying. If you do, I apologize. But what am I apologize for? I can't apologize for the weather. I'm not Mother Nature. Back to the sewing machine to sew down each side, bottom, and up. Just like I did the pocket. Down, around, up. Okay, I got my... 
side sewn. I'm going to clip all my threads and pull all my little needles. They're not needles. They're pins. Out of here. Okay. Um, if you happen to sew one of these and make one of these, when you start up here, make sure you poke your zipper in. My, um, I almost broke a needle because I forgot to push that in. You have to sew that in. And then when you get to this end, uh, this was a 14 inch zipper, I think it was. You'll have to stop before you hit that middle right there. So you'll have a little space up there, but it, it doesn't really matter. It's a laptop thing. Okay, I'm fixing to flip this thing inside out when I get these pins in here. Uh, you know what? <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Unzip this thing a little bit before you um, do that so you can actually flip it inside out, okay? I'm going to have to maneuver this. Y'all, this, one of these, will be your best friend if you're a sewer. Just saying. Uh, I had to, uh, I got the zipper, but then I remembered I forgot my handle. I want to hold it from this end. I didn't want the handle to get hung with the zipper or whatever. That was the reason for putting these on where they would seal. So I'm going to put my... If you have that cord that is for key fobs, I forget what you call it, but anyways, it comes on tote bags, you can use that. But I am just using ribbon because that's what I have on hand and I'm in a hurry. I can always take my seam out, take my ribbon out, and put a regular handle on it if I want to. But anyways, I'm going to heat seal my ends of my ribbon so my ribbon don't fray while I'm trying to carry the thing. And then I'm going to, um, my pocket needs to come out so what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke this in I'm gonna hold it just like this I want mine like this so I'm gonna poke it in maybe because I had to rip the side out to get my handle on so that's right there that one will be right there and I'm going to just put a dab of glue and smoosh it down because that's on the edge and it's not it's not showing when I sew it. So anyway, I'm gonna do the same for this side, right on the edge so that I can put that down on it. Okay, that side's down and it'll hold. And I'm gonna bring this side down to right about, hmm, right about there. I might have a little handle, y'all. I don't know. I'll probably end up redoing this. But just so you know, you get the gist of the idea of what I'm doing. And now I'm going to go sew this back. Okay, I got it sewn in. Now, make sure when you sew it, you sew it with your zipper open. Do as I say, not as I did. Now we're just going to flip it inside out. Part of me is off camera. I'm sorry, it's because I moved you over there to to show you the sewing part and then ditched ya. Okay, yeah, my seam's out there, but I am going to love this. Now I'm gonna poke my corners in. To get those corners in a little better, uh, I'm going to use, um, well, I can use my scissors. I don't like using my scissors because I'm afraid I'll cut through, but just, Poke your corners out. That'll that'll reduce. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Poke your corners out. That will reduce bulkiness. And uh, I got strings where I took it apart, but I'll clip them. And then you want to do this one where the zipper is, but don't push a lot. Yeah, like that, because you'll push your zipper out, and it can stay tucked in there. All right. She's a functioning laptop bag y'all let me see y'all saw my lip oh my gosh it's a little big but y'all i love it i love it now i gotta do 
just put my mouse and everything in my little pockets. I am so excited, y'all. Okay, so my laptop bag is complete. Who would have ever thought two placemats and two pot holders and a zipper piece of ribbon would become a laptop bag? Uh, I don't know. It came out great, though. Um, I actually went to my daughter's, which is two hours away. I was able to put my laptop in here, of course. I was able to put my retractable mouse in here and close it so it didn't go nowhere. I put my cord in the other one and it worked out. It sealed and didn't go nowhere. I also put a 12 by 12 silhouette cutting mat in here and it stayed flat. They're not allowed to bend or they're not supposed to bend and uh, it set flat against my laptop and that was a plus. Um, so uh, I'm glad I made it a little bigger. But anyways, uh, worked out great and I just love it. I just want to let y'all know also that when I'm videoing, I am in my craft room and it is not the prettiest sight in the world, I'll tell you. But I use all the space I have because I have a lot of stuff. So you always see this wall where my cameo is and it, it, it does look a little nicer over there. This is just my organized chaos. That's my, my sister said, your room is so organized. I'm like, are you kidding? There's stuff everywhere. It's, I told her it's just my organized chaos. Um, I, I lose stuff in here sometimes. I'll, I'll say, well, I'm going to put this up here so I remember where it goes. And that's a big fat lie because I never remember where it is. And then I have to search the whole stinking room to find what I need. But I'm a visual learner. I'm a visual person. And I have to see it out and around me to use it. Um, or else sometimes I forget I even have it. The things that I put away, I do have cabinets I put things away, y'all. But that stuff I know that if I'm doing a project, I'm like, oh, I need that. So I'll go in and get it. But for the most part, I just, I like to see my machines. I like to see my stuff. I love the colors of the threads on the wall. And um, I love that. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things in my room. I, I get my Jesus jam on, y'all. <laughs> um, but anyways, that's between me and the Lord. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of you that have subscribed to my channel. That means a lot to me. Um, subscribing and liking and commenting helps my channel to grow. And I do appreciate that. Um, I really do. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you. Um, but like and subscribe. Ring that bell and You'll be notified when I upload videos and you won't have to search for me. God bless and until next time.